Yep, I'm, believe it or not, while well, some people will be, a lot of you as well, um, finally actually starting to play this game. I j just started turn one. Um, I also found out what the bad thing is about using gas, which is great, because at first I was like, hey, wait a minute, um, it doesn't seem like there's any negative uh, effects to using gas, and I was like, oh man, that's not very historical if they didn't pop that in, and it is. So, um, so you can see here I've decided to do gas here, here, and here. I'm trying to uh, concentrate. Uh, I'm going to see um, if we can, like I said, nail one spot. And then I've got gas way the heck over there. I'll try to zoom out a bit. Oh, I am zoomed out completely for now. And then maybe I'll zoom in a bit in now so you can see the uh, combat I'm about to do. So right here. Yep, that's not too bad. Um, so the, the bad effect, so the good effect is I'm going to get one extra die. So it says uh, the way it works right now, and I'm, I'm going with the, um, the errata thing that says um, uh, the map is wrong, that you should not have 20 uh, dice or 20 uh, ca uh, artillery counters to put anywhere you want. Um, you only have 10. I think it said I'm allowed to double up on one on some. Uh, I'll have to check. I think this, I think I doubled up over here. I'll have to go and take a look later to find out exactly why uh, I'm allowed to do that. Um, anyways, so the bad effect, so I'll get to, and, and then it also tells you how many dice you roll um, uh, to find out your uh, the total combat strength, as far as I know. I'm like I said, as far as I know, then I check the uh, then I check the tr uh, go under the terrain effects, and that will and then I roll a die, and that'll show me which column to use. Uh, we'll take a look and we'll see if I got it right or wrong. So I decided to go for here, uh, and also the way they do uh, is uh, it uh, has the rules here for the gas. It says uh, any result other than D two, D three, or a DE results in friendly fire against one adjacent uh, only friendly unit. And if the unit is stacked, the frontline unit instead of that reserve one uh, uh, suffers the loss. So I was like, okay, great. So I ended up rolling and it was a total of 15. So that's uh, when I go to here. Let me see if you can see. I'll take a look. Uh, I think so. I'll try to be... So if you look over to here at the plus 10, I checked over here, it says uh, trench. So I knew I'm going to be using this column. And what the heck did I roll? I think I rolled a 2. Um, anyway, so it's a D2. And it says, remember, that was at any other uh, thing. Um, it would have been uh, the, uh, the friendly, the friendlies would have got the gas. Uh, so the Brits would have got the gas, and it, that that's not the case. So then I go to check the rules over here, and it said that um, if the target of a bombardment is a German unit in a trench, which is exactly what I'm doing, and the bombardment results in a D E D three or a D two, which it did, the hex is considered breached. I'm like, oh, awesome, along with any German loss. See below. And so I'm going to remove the gas because that's gone now. Um, leave the artillery marker on the hex as a reminder. Ignore the trench terrain in any ensuing regular combat against the hex. So I guess now I can start after the after the bombardment. I can now use the 140th A um, brigade. Uh, shoot, I shouldn't start getting into this again. Um, one X is brigade, I think. Yes. So that would be, yeah, that's right, because it was, uh, that's right, because there's a division, you know, okay. One division, two division, oh, I better not start at this again. Oh, where's the, uh, doesn't the thing have it here? Hold on here. I thought the uh, fire, fire movement system had the 1x stuff and all that thingamajig, telling me what, uh, Oh gosh, how can I not, I mean, I use it all the flipping time and now I can't remember. I think 1x is brigade. Anyways, we'll go with that. Um, so now I got to go and check what the heck it says here for bombardments here and it says um, uh, then uh, after I'll remove their artillery after the end of the combat uh, a German unit in a trench never loses its last step to a bombardment in other words a one step regiment or a battalion ignores any loss caused by the bombardment so then I go back up to the um, 
uh, retreat is not allowed after a, after a bombardment, so they have to take a step loss. So that's, I'm assuming that's what I'm going to do with, gosh, I'm not used to using my fingers. Hold on, I gotta go and get my forceps. Um, gosh, I, yeah, I think I'm doing this right. And like I said, I think once I get to just get a, a couple of turns in, uh, things will go pretty, pretty well. Okay, so that's the, you know, I better flip it over. So that's the third, 22nd reg uh, reserve, um, regiment and they get flipped over as far as I know and then for now I leave it on to remind me I'm just going to put it oh she's put it off to the side a bit and then uh, or maybe I'll put it like this sideways yeah just to say that it's been breached I guess and uh, that's it as far as I know I did it I did it right okay and if I didn't please let me uh, please let me know okay see you later